everyone, this is Lomi, and today I'm unboxing the one thing I ordered for my current customization project instead of trying to make it for myself. The longer I've been customizing my dolls, the more I'm learning that there are certain places where I'm just better off buying something that's already made instead of trying to do it myself, and one place that is definitely true is with shoes. I placed this order with Alice's Collections at the beginning of the year and ordered not only shoes for my kid version of Vaughn from the Snake's Blood Saga, but also for some of my other dolls. Some for a doll who's currently barefoot, some for a doll whose shoes are damaged and need to be replaced, and some for upcoming projects too. You can see what I got are all different sizes, but mostly boots, and I think that's probably normal for what are mostly fantasy book characters. There's also a wig that, by the time I opened it, I forgot what it was for, but let's open these up and take a closer look at everything. There's also the little gift magic eraser sponge that they put in most orders, which honestly is really appreciated because I use a lot of these. So first things first, I'll be opening these one-third boots to try and figure out what happened, because this is actually not what I ordered. Or I guess it is, but these boots came in two colors, and I wanted the white ones, because these were meant to be replacements for Laylee's old boots that are falling apart. I was very sure that was what I had picked, so I'm not sure how I ended up with black ones. This is actually the first time I've had something not be right in one of my orders with Alice's collections. So I'll double check with them to see what happened and how this should be resolved. So this is what they should look like versus black. Their customer service is quick, but I also didn't pay a lot for these because they were on sale. So I'll have to decide if whatever options for fixing it is worth it, or if I should just get a white pair sent along with my next order. They're a very nice quality and I like them, and I could probably figure out something that would make them work for what I want, but we'll see. Next up is a pair of light brown boots with straps, and I ordered these for Rika, my Feeple 65 Wren. She's been barefoot for a while, and I have a pair of these same boots and a darker brown for Kit, my Feeple 65 Cian... Cian... Anyway, they fit the Feeple 65 flat feet very nicely, so I knew these would be a great addition to my doll shoe collection, because I have three Feeple 65 girls, and they can all share. The third pair I got is a huge pair of boots meant for 70 centimeter boys, but these will actually be for my Dalshi girl, who is going to eventually become Sarah from the Snake's Blood Saga. That doll has huge feet and has proven very hard to get footwear for. I actually bought these knowing I didn't like this studded strap thing across the ankle, but they were the best tall boots I could find that might fit her huge feet. So I'll probably see if I can do shoe surgery on these and remove that strap, either by redoing the stitches by hand or just cutting the straps. I'm sure I can repurpose them in some other doll outfit elsewhere, and I don't think cutting the straps would look terrible, but I'm open to other ideas if you have any. Fortunately, these do fit, so at least that need is met. The only pair I got that's not a pair of boots is these blue satin heels, which I probably unsurprisingly ordered for for all. They're a much darker blue than the sales photos, and I was a little disappointed in these overall, not just because of the color difference, but because there's a lot of glue visible around the soles. I don't think it'll be visible from above, but these were actually the most expensive shoes of everything I ordered that day, so seeing that they're the worst quality of everything was disappointing. Fortunately, they're just to go under for all's blue dress, so the problems won't be too visible. I might make her another blue dress soon, too. And then, of course, there are the boots that were the main purpose for this whole order. These will be for Kid Vaughn, and I had really wanted brown, but these were only available in black and white. 
I suspect they're actually meant to be girls' boots because they have flowers on the soles, but he'll survive. Maybe someday I'll also find a pair in brown that I like. Lastly, there was that wig. I know I ordered this for a reason, but I cannot for the life of me remember what it's for when I'm looking at it. It's a really pretty reddish brown with a lot of texture, and it's smaller than my big girls, so what could it be for? Then I remembered I got that beautiful Dalshi Diana head as a gift whenever I bought the bigger Dalshi body. Somewhere along the line, I decided she would make a great book character, not from Snake's Blood like most of the rest of my dolls are, but instead she would be Elia from my romanticy book The Spymaster's Prize. I guess that means I'll also want to make Cass at some point so they can be together, but there's time for that. The wig fits a little big and will need to be taken in, but the quality is great. So that's a little sneak preview at some of the other projects I'll be doing soon, now that I'm super close to finishing my kid version of Vaughn. I've got one more thing to make for his outfit, and then I'll be ready to share his final look and start my next big project. And that's all for today though. Thanks for watching. Bye.